HBO was a legitimate comedy force in stand-up comedy, mm -hmm. but uh, Dream On made them a legitimate force in narrative comedy. Uh, prior to that, the only sitcom that uh, HBO had done was a little show called First and Ten, which starred the great comedian O.J. Simpson. Um, and uh, that show was really about the cable edge, you know, it was about finding any reason for anybody to take their clothes off or, or, or to curse. Um, but I think um, Dream On maybe opened up the eyes at HBO and said, oh no, we could be something elite. We, can, we could be a leader in this field because we, we have no restrictions on how we do comedy. So we can be greatest, the greatest at it. So I think it changed in that respect. And I think it also changed over from the idea of these low, really low ball license fees. You know, now I don't think anybody spends more than HBO to make their shows. Uh, but at the time, uh, our, our, our budget on, on Dream On was so, so small. Uh, we didn't even shoot in a, in a real soundstage. I found uh, an empty warehouse in uh, Sun Valley uh, and had some uh, soundproofing put into it. And uh, it had enough office space in, 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 in the warehouse to um, accommodate the staff and editing and everything. Oh, wow. And then we have enough room to create a soundstage. And, it really was so successful, you know, you figured after we be, became legitimate and the license fees went up a little, we would have moved to a real stage and we didn't. And if anything, I took the warehouse next door and made that our scene shop and we kind of stayed out of uh, the high priced and uh, scenery business and built our own scenery for cost. I think Dream On came to an end for one big reason. And uh, the big reason was Universal made the mistake not to re-sign Marta and David and myself. Mm -hmm. I think even in the one year that I did without Marta and David, uh, it became a different show. The consistency of the scripts became very different. Um, the actor became very upset with the writing. Mm. And there were frequent um, battles uh, fought on the set. So then I think after I was gone, uh, it really was about uh, resting on the laurels of the show and not really about that the show was you know, reinvented its greatness or continued to be great. I think it, it slowly drifted down and uh, it was time to go. You need the magic formula. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I'd like to tell you more about it, but you know, as, as, as most, uh, producers, uh, I think, would do when the, uh, a show is taken away from them. I don't watch the other version of the show. <laughs> <laughs>